These are the cobblestone streets of Ahihik, which is located here. Ahihik was originally spelled with X's in the Aztec language Nahuatl. It means place of water. This Pueblo Magico is known as a community for artists and art lovers. For a century, it has been a place of inspiration for Mexicans and foreigners alike. The Pueblo has more than just painters. It's also been a retreat for writers and performers. One well-known expat in particular was the dancer and actress Kiva St. Albans. She is usually called La Rusa or Russian Lady. The first time she visited Ajijic, La Rusa had been performing at the Del Goyado Theater in Guadalajara. She enjoyed it so much, she moved and lived here for the last four decades of her life. Stories paint her as quite an eccentric woman who wore long, flowing gowns and galloped her black horse through the cobblestone streets. During the local gold rush in the 1930s, she and her brother had the most successful mine. They planned to use the money to bring the Russian ballet to a tour in Mexico. But sadly, they had dishonest men manage the mine, who took most of the money. Ajijic is located on the northern shore of Mexico's biggest freshwater lake, Chapala. You can also go boating, fishing, or simply stroll the walkway. There is no shortage of green space for picnics and children's play areas. Another place not to be missed is the town center. We headed first for the San Andres Apostle Parish. After having other buildings from the 1500s destroyed by earthquakes, the first stone for this church was laid in 1749. Across the street from the church is a very unique mural. El Mural de los Muertos is a work done by local artist Efren González in 2016. Each of the 1,000 tiles carries the name for a deceased loved one here in the community. It is suspected that in the 1500s, most of this area was the front of the atrium plaza to the church. But today, it is a separate plaza. On the northwestern corner is the cute little Our Lady of the Rosary Chapel, also built in the 1700s. The central plaza has what is called the Gala, or Galeria de Aire Libre de Hajiji. There are displays of sculptures and bios for artists. This great climate makes it an ideal location for outdoor restaurants and cafes. It adds to the bohemian feel of the Pueblo. Also right off the plaza is the Ajiji Cultural Center, with the front all painted in a mural. You can't miss it. On the first floor, there is a gallery for art exhibitions and a small stage for cultural events. The center stairwell is wrapped in yet another impressive mural that you can enjoy all the way up.
The second floor is home to a cafe and a balcony area for the stage. The third floor has an art workshop. We chose to get lunch right next door at the Café Cuatro Estaciones. It used to be a movie theater. This was the lobby. We had a delicious foamy drink made from cantaloupe. Audrey and Mom ordered enchiladas. I had a baguette with panela cheese. And Dad? A rachetta steak sandwich. So, if you are looking to relax and be creative, Ajijic might be the place for you. Thanks for watching World Audrey. Don't forget to like and subscribe.